The Black Widow trailer has some potentially huge spoilers. Carrie Fisher's presence was definitely felt at the Star Wars junket. Zack Snyder is still talking about the Snyder Cut, even if Henry Cavill isn't, and a couple of big trailers dropped. What a week it has been! What's up, Comic Book Nation? BD here with your second printing of the week's biggest issues at comicbook.com, and it was a busy one, so let's jump in. This week, I went out to California to talk with the cast of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, but ended up catching a wild moment on camera during the press conference where the presence of Carrie Fisher was very much felt. Check this out. The, the lighting, the... Oh, amazing. <laughs> Watch this. The lighting. Um, that was creepy. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> That's so Carrie, by the way, to do that. Superman himself, Henry Cavill, is ready to put the Justice League movie behind him, whether you want the Snyder Cut or not. Telling my buddy Kevin McCarthy that he hasn't seen any Snyder Cut, but he's ready to continue telling stories as Superman, and he really wants to pick up where Man of Steel left off, which really fired up the Snyderites and prompted them to apparently instantly hate Henry Cavill on social media. If you take a look at some of the responses on Twitter, I can't wait to laugh directly at Henry Cavill's face. That's cute, you'll probably never get that chance. I don't want to support this selfish little... Well, he doesn't need it, he's got The Witcher now. But let's not forget, Justice League made Cavill a horrible meme for that mustache, and I personally do not blame him for wanting to move on. Well, Snyder went back on Vero, the app that he is single-handedly keeping alive, and posted a photo to claim that the Snyder Cut is real and its runtime is 3 hours and 34 minutes. Honestly, I would watch it. Does this mean we will see the Snyder Cut anytime soon? Probably not. So what does it mean? Who knows? At this point, like... Things that are actually happening with DC are Birds of Prey and Wonder Woman 1984. Birds showed off a new trailer in Brazil at CCXP which promised us an actual Black Mask for Black Mask and also dropped some new posters that you can look at where all good posters are available while supplies last. And Wonder Woman 1984 is going to drop its first trailer early on Sunday afternoon. So we'll have that for you because I love Gal Gadot. Speaking of trailers, James Bond dropped his No Time to Die trailer and it was fairly underwhelming to be a little honest with you. With the exception being the last 20 seconds where a Bond car goes full Bond car and some exciting stuff actually happens. If you've seen Knives Out though, you know you should be extra excited to get Daniel Craig and Anna de Armas back together again. And if you haven't seen Knives Out, you should. I don't care if you hated The Last Jedi, Ryan Johnson made a great movie there. And finally, Black Widow dropped a trailer to start the week and it's loaded with MCU connections and new characters. One possible major spoiler I picked up on is the green vest Natasha wears in Infinity War is being worn by Florence Pugh's Yelena, and it might be in Natasha's hand when everything came crashing down from the sky. So I'm kind of worried about Widow's little sis. We have a full breakdown on the site and I suggest checking that out if you're a Marvel fan. Happy weekend everybody, enjoy the latest episode of The Mandalorian, check out the Crisis crossover on The CW because we'll be talking about it, it launches on Sunday night. This has been your second printing of the week's biggest issues, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Brandon Davis BD so that you always know what I had for breakfast, and head over to comicbook.com for more updates. I'm BD, I'll see you there.